All right, people, welcome back to the channel. Thanks very much for tuning in to another one here on the coach's desk. We really appreciate you being here. And of course, you have been good to us. So, you know, we show our appreciation all the time. But people, I want to talk about, um, some people might see it as a sensitive um, situation, right? And I just want to share my opinion on the matter. And, you know, I, 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 I saw... The whole shenanigans surrounding um, Janelle Bromfield, you know, and um, certainly she has been getting a whole lot of flogging, yeah, from 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 all and sundry. She has been getting a whole lot of flogging, and I just want to share, you know, my my few cents on 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 the matter where Janelle is 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 concerned, yeah. Now before. I talk about it. I, I want to. Well, a lot of people probably know about this already. So it all started when Noah Lyles did an interview on a particular podcast, right? And he shared some information that, you know, he's quite off okay with what, what's happening in the Jamaican camps. So he pluralized it there, um, stating that, you know, his, his, his Jamaican girlfriend, Janelle Brumfield, would have been giving him the scoop on what is happening in the various camps. And that has been happening for like five years. And, you know, that blew up the internet pretty much from a Jamaican standpoint because we were like, hmm, interestingly. I mean, but when you, when you really survey the whole matter, <laughs> it, it, it is crazy though, people. It is crazy. I believe that Noah... He talks a lot because he said he has um, ADD and he, he, you know, all of these things. So I guess from a, 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 a Jamaican standpoint, we're going to call him chat too much. He, you understand? He's going to see as uh, he's going to be seen as someone who uses his mouth a lot. Right. And, you know, Jamaicans always say we don't like informer because, I mean, it's a situation where Junel probably told him something, you know, having their conversation. And I mean, knowing Americans, they, they tend not to hold anything. They're like old fridge, some people will say, right? And he, he went on to blob. It could be a, 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 a twofold thing from my standpoint. You know? It could be a situation where Noah try to, you know, make people believe, say, yo, him know a lot and all of these things when he doesn't know a lot because my interpretation of that situation is it it there's nothing that Noah could have known in the MVP secret vault that Janelle could have said to him about the athletes there that would have, have allowed him to be a better athlete in terms of getting faster whatever he's doing has to do with him and his coach and it also has a lot to do with him. How does he respond to the training method that his coach is actually um, working with him? You know what I mean? So I, I, I tend to not like what the, how the people were actually, you know, treating Janelle through the whole situation. I mean, I did a video and, and persons rubbed me the wrong way because my, my thing in making that video, I was twisting the narrative because I saw where Janelle was getting a lot of beating. So I, I was twisting the narrative to say that. I mean, Junel told Noah that he need to look out for Kishane because Kishane fast. And people were saying that I was the one who was spreading the narrative and yada, yada, yada. And up until now, I can't see how that video really caused whatever people were saying and i was the one who was twisting it everybody just come out and call janelle in pharma she chat too much and all of this thing and i twisted it in janelle tell no one to watch himself because that you then and kiss and fast and him the only problem with him he have some injury concern and that was evident in the public so it's not like the, that that was a big secret the, 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 the real contention that I have is how Jan, uh, Janelle has been treated by our very own. We know there's a stigma in Jamaica when it comes on to, you know, in pharma fee, you know the rest. Um, we know like in pharma scene. 
Achi a chatty 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 make me can't live in peace. Every little thing you run gone to. You know the, the ending to that. So it is a it is a cultural thing whereas we we tend to not like people who blub and talk a lot, especially talking things that others are not supposed to hear. Seeing? And she was also put in a situation where she was being ostracized because of her melanin. And I, I believe that is where people um, took it far. You understand? And I mean, for her, for her, I think that she's a very, very, very strong woman. I, I see as very strong. She said, you know what Janelle said, and many persons probably would have heard. She said, she sees and she heard and she sees everything on social media. And if she has gone through a lot that whatever people are saying, insignificant people are saying, don't really reach her or hurt her that much. Because the fact that she would have lost so many lo uh, loved ones, family members, that would have been devastating to her. So what persons are saying right now, you know, really a trouble, man. Let them go and talk. She'll live her best life. That's essentially what it boils down to what she said. You know, the hate, for me, I think the hate is very bad. I know Jamaicans probably look upon it um, in, 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 a, in another um, realm where, I mean, you're supposed to be in a situation where you are a Jamaican. And you know, when it comes down to track and field, Jamaicans and Americans are rival. Even if you don't believe, it is what it is. Big rivalry, and that I go on from before probably some of us born, even from before I was born. You know, you know. So it is it is it is on that premise too. I believe that um Jamaicans kind of feel a little bit of a pushback where Junel is concerned because of the fact that she's with quote unquote the enemy. She does track, he does track. And, you know, the, the, the fact that it was alleged, well, it was said that she leaked those information. You know what I mean? People rubbing her the wrong way. And that is understandable in my way. But when it is getting a little bit personal, uh, stating disparaging things about her because of her complexion or melanin, that doesn't sit well with me. I think that rubs me the wrong way. Um, people comment about her look, how she looks. Um, they, they, they say all manner of evil against her. See? But for me, I, I, I put it towards, you know, people are really upset more so because of what Noah said about her telling him stuff, which should not be, 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 be back in the public. But again, I see Americans as, as old fridge. They don't want anything. You see, and that is my encounter. So I can tell you um, where that is concerned. But the fact that people really go out, out of them way if you call her names. I mean, like a name like Muma I, because of course, no, I is called Father I. I don't see anything wrong with that. But because she have a vibe, she really have a vibe. And she gave her all for Jamaica in this Olympic. You, you, you can't go around that. Seeing she gave vibes. She try to hold up the um the the, the 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 what you call it now, the opening ceremony. She was on live so that the Jamaican public could you know see what was going on and all of these things. So she 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 did a, a good job, but the name calling, the melanin calling, black and ugly and all of them something there. And no, I couldn't find a better woman. It, it's just putting down the girl in such a way that it no look good, man. She met joke at, at, at the one with what them says still in her boat. Um she make she made she made joke of the, 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 the fact that somebody she was combing um actually a, a Germany um athlete here and somebody in the comment section said yo careful it don't tell her a secret you know, because she gotta tell no one and she jokingly said that no nah, man, she nah go she nah, she nah want hear something there because Jamaica business nice or sweet or something of, of the sort. So she made fun of that one in in itself. 
but the whole pan name calling and you know the, the you know we're on a stream and, and and somebody said something i can't recall who said it but somebody said oh 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 we see things if 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 the youth did there with a white girl caucasian and this is no racial slur a lot of folks would have said that why this is a, the case of another successful black man not staying in his race or with his race he's considered a successful black man and he decided to choose one of our own and how people deal with the whole situation they're not happy it, it, it is kind of mind-boggling i can understand the whole sentiments of the crossing the line and enemy lines and all of these things because she says certain things you know that really put it to the fore you, you know it it kind of it kind of it kind of kind of too harsh man i can remember i put out a video about Noah Lyle's girlfriend, Junel Bromfield, her name in the title, you know, made Olympic team for an individual 400. And people come in at the comment, and all type of things were said. Give a girl her flowers, she have her name, she have her life to live. And few days after, when Noah Lyle's come out and say, and the same set of people, them, what did that talk about this and that? I rush the girl and I call her all sort of names. I think she has been hard done. I believe that she has been harshly treated by her very own as well. If, if you look how her mother treat Noah, father I mother treat Junel. She come out in the stadium and she a rip Junel when Junel a run. Upon our nails, we show that upon stream already. She have a US flag upon one hand and Jamaica flag on one hand. Our fingers, whatever the case is. See? So, boy, I mean, I know. It, it, it's just one of those situations where people have their opinion and, and that is okay with me because I'm sharing my opinion now and I'm sure that persons are going to challenge it. But don't think that I am afraid of my opinion being challenged. But don't be afraid if your opinion is also being challenged. Seeing? Because that's the diversity of human beings. Seeing? We think differently. We, we will not all agree on every single thing. Seeing? So, you can share your opinion on the matter in the comment section. Seeing? But... I think this would go, This is going to be short-lived, though. The whole bashing of Janelle is going to be short-lived. I think after the Olympics and the, the, the Pepper Light Olympians, them come out, them gone back in. Probably we're not going nothing upon that again. Is it me I say? Yeah, man. People, big up on yourself, you know. Thanks for tuning in to another one here on the coach's desk. This is, these are my views. What say you? Until next time, peace out.